morning guys and welcome back to my channel so it is Monday morning and it is four weeks until I go on holidays to the States and I am starting a mini cut I am getting shredded and lean for my holiday Nah, not really I'm gonna do like a mini cut so I'm just focusing on my food and training and just different aspects a tiny bit more just because I've had a couple of months off and I love having a goal and progressing and working towards a goal. So I thought I'm going to do a mini cut for my America holiday. I've just been doing emails, drinking some water. I've written my to-do list and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. 8.30, I've been on my computer since 6, super productive morning. I'm about to train, so I'm gonna go do some pre-workout. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven will go, cause I got you I got you, don't wanna show oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my own All that I need, I'm trying to sugarcoat but I'm Okay guys, so I'm about to do a hit workout outside No equipment, just doing like hill sort of sprints But first of all, I want to warm up so I'm going to go for a run around the block, which will probably be about five minutes slow jog. So just got back from my run. All I'm doing is hill sprints, but I'm making sure I stick to a time. So I just got my interval timer app and I'm setting it to 20 seconds on, which is gonna be like my sprint and then a minute 40 rest. So basically, I'm just gonna go on my footpath, sprint for 20 seconds, walk back. Sprint for 20 seconds, walk back. And I'm just doing that a total of 10 times. it out of you so much. I'm gonna let my heart rate go down a bit, put the dogs on a leash, sorry, and then I'm just going for a 20 minute walk with them. Your touch so soft. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven will go, cause I got you. I got you. Don't wanna show. Oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my own. All that I need. Trying to shoot. While my oats soak in, I thought I'd do a rundown on my training plan for this cut and tell you what I'm thinking of doing. I want to do a bit of a disclaimer and really stress that what I'm doing is only for three to four weeks at the most. It is not something I would recommend to do long term because that's when you will get hormonal and stress issues. The reason why I think this is going to work so well for me, like my little plan of attack, is because it is so opposite to what I have been doing. It's going to be a shock to my system. I was doing one or two HIIT exercises a week. The rest was more strength based and that was kind of it. So not a lot of, not a lot of cardio, not a lot of high intensity. Going into my cut, I am introducing three hit sessions, two strength sessions, and one list. 
but I do want to stress that I think it's going to work so well because it's going to be a shock whereas at the moment if you're already doing like hit sessions every single day and you want to go into a cut like adding more hit in probably isn't going to work for you because your body would be quite adapted whereas my body is not adapted to cardio and hit at the moment it is actually so shocked a lot more cardio the hit style sessions that i am doing like this morning they are based on this like new it's not new i only just heard about it but it's like this scientifically proven fat loss method i actually saw it on a video on youtube a girl named madeline <laughs> I'll put it here because I'm going to butcher her last name. Madeline G. That's what I would call her. But she's a lovely girl. She has an Instagram and YouTube and she's amazing. I love following her. And she recently went into this course and there's this new like fat loss method that she was trying. And my friend Mickey actually went to the same course. So I was texting her about it after I saw Madeline's video. And she was like, yeah, it's the real deal. It's really only for you know, the last three or four weeks more, I think bikini, bikini competitive tug sort of girls. But the reason why I'm trying it is because as you already know, like I'm already quite lean. I'm already very healthy. My training and eating was very on point previously. So it's just like, I need this little shock to the system. So I'm going to do that. I will link her video. Um, she goes into it and explains it a lot more, but basically it is a hit session. You do 15 to 20 minute intervals and it's that 20 seconds on a hundred seconds off. And then you rest for five minutes. That was me putting on the dog's leashes. And then you go for 20 minutes of lists. It was like this whole proven method and I was really intrigued. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I can be like your little guinea pig and let you know if it does work. And I think it's going to be good for me because like I said, it's such a shock to what my training usually is. And if you are someone who is already doing a lot of cardio and you feel like if you just add in more cardio, you're like plateauing or you're not really seeing the results, I would highly recommend going back to my wedge shed videos because I did the whole process of starting with weights and then adding the cardio and it was a lot slower and a lot more detailed the way I did my wedge shed was this is just like a mini cut it's only three to four weeks and I am trying something completely new so I don't really know how it's gonna go <laughs> breakfast is just oats, granola, berries, coconut yogurt, basically the same as before but I have just a tiny bit less than usual. Just about to roast some veggies. I've got some zucchini, carrot, and potato. I have done double the amount, so I don't have to cook for tomorrow's lunch. So while the veggies are cooking, I thought I'd quickly go through my sort of plan with you guys. I should take these out. I wear them all the time. So before I get into my eating, I want to talk to you guys about my supplements. If you are an OG Georgie subscriber, you would know in Wedshed, I did take quite a few supplements that were, you know, for fat loss and I actually, I still love all those supplements. I still definitely recommend them. I actually went and bought a few for this cut, but I was re-watching my wed share just, um, <laughs> something I do like I often like forget what I do and then like rewatch some of my old videos and I'm like oh that's what I did I need to implement that tip so I was watching my videos back and I did notice I was taking a lot of supplements and don't get me wrong I love supplements but like you definitely do not need supplements to lose weight like you do not need fat burners you don't really need anything and so I thought this mini cut I would do it with less supplements just so I could kind of show you guys 
that you can still do it and that even though supplements can help, you do not need them. This time round, I'm being very basic with my supplements and the only things I'm taking, what you saw this morning is my pre-workout. This one is a natural pre-workout, which I switched to because the other one was, was giving me issues with my skin. So I tried this natural pre-workout and I'm liking this. So I've been having this also from the same company. You guys will know I used to take um, I used to put another supplement into my pre-workout that was the fat burner and I was like adding more into it. So I did buy this again, which is the fat burner ingredient. So I add this into my natural pre-workout and it's like the perfect natural fat burner that I make myself. Um, so this is called Alcar and I'll actually, I'll leave all the links in the description bar so you can have a look and I do have a discount code for these two. Also Another supplement I'm taking is my protein powder. I'm putting this in my oats and if like I have a smoothie or something like that. And protein powder is just to get some extra protein. When I am on a cut, it is really important to make sure my protein is up. I don't always take protein powder. It's just more at the moment. So I know I'm hitting my protein targets. And this is just that new protein that I was talking about. It's like a new vegan protein and it tastes amazing and it's like no nasties organic blah 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 all that good shit so I will also leave the link and discount code for that so the last supplement that I am taking and it's not so much for fat loss but I just notice a really big difference in my gut health and as you guys know your gut is your second brain so if your gut is happy you feel happy it's really important when I'm on a cut to like be in a really good mental state and something that I do notice is L-glutamine mixed in with water sometimes I put a bit of lemon with it is really amazing for gut health you've probably seen it in my other vlogs I always like forget to film it but I just bought a new bag of this same brand is that other stuff so I do have a discount if you want to grab that this also helps muscle recovery that's kind of it just those like three main ones you honestly do not need supplements like you don't need that stuff at all you can manipulate um, your body by yourself and I think it's really important to know that also like I always say supplements do not work unless you do so my previous video that uh, the one previous to this where I did points of what you need to be doing before you go on a cut those points need to be on point that was weird and then adding in supplements you will notice a difference but if that other stuff isn't on point like the base stuff like your sleep routine all that jazz I talked about then there's literally no point on taking supplements like that's a really big thing to think about just cooking my chicken I just cooked it with a bit of coconut oil and I cut up a garlic clove it smells so delicious super simple I'm still intermittent fasting so I try and do 14 hours but I'm not doing it super strict like I'll honestly just eat when I'm hungry sort of just depends but I do find the intermittent fasting does help because at the moment with my food I am going to be eating in a calorie deficit so it does definitely help with that finish lunch let's talk food so in a previous video I did show you guys counting my calories I don't usually count my calories I am more of an intuitive eater I personally find counting calories just very time consuming and I don't like getting too hung up in the numbers I way prefer to go off how my body feels I thought because I did previously count my calories and you guys were really interested in it I would sort of count my calories a little bit this week basically my maintenance calories is around 2200 I'm aiming for 1800 17 to 1800 so that is cutting around four to five hundred calories which I think is quite a substantial amount but what I'm basically gonna do is that's going to even up a little bit because 
I'm not going to count my calories on the weekend. I'm still going to be very health conscious, but just not to that point. So I am going to have a bump in calories on the weekend. Something you need to know, like when you do go on a cut, if you under eat for a long period of time, like a month, then that's when you can have issues of hormone issues and slowing your metabolism and all that sort of stuff. So I'm doing it for around three to four weeks. In saying that guys, my maintenance is 2,200. That's what I was eating before. If you're eating something like, you know, 1,200 or 1,500, the usual girl diet calories, Cutting 500 calories from that is massive and that would be under eating and you probably find that it's difficult, you can't do it, you'll get mood swings, all these sorts of things. So if you are lower calories, you wouldn't cut as many. I've got like a bit more room because I actually increased my metabolism previously. So I am gonna track my food just this week. Also just quickly, something I am doing, so obviously I'm eating 17 to 800 calories at the moment but I am gonna be very conscious of how I feel. So for example, if I'm training the way I said I was to you guys and then I'm eating and I'm just not feeling that good, I'll probably bump my calories up a little bit or just sort of reassess. This is just like my initial plan. It might change in a couple weeks. Tim just got home and because I'm like home alone all day, I get so excited. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is dinner tonight I've just got some roasted vegetables I swear that's all I eat just some carrot tiny bit of sweet potato onion some green beans cooked in coconut oil and garlic and a piece of salmon now I'm just having some dessert this is a brownie it is low carb refined sugar free dairy free, vegan, all that good stuff. The recipe for this will actually be in a coming video, so make sure you look out for it. What's this? It's chocolate cake. <laughs> stop, so, uh, <laughs> stop comparing mine to that to your cake. Do you well, want some chocolate cake? Wolf wants mine, doesn't want yours, does he? Yeah. Whoopi, don't you like my healthy desserts? I just want to show you guys my macros for the day. I've eaten 886 calories, tiny bit over, 28% protein, and then the rest kind of um, split evenly between carbs and fat. When I am counting my macros during this cut, I'm actually not going off daily. I'm more going off weekly. So if I'm a tiny bit under or over, I'm not too worried because I am going to be looking at it more weekly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and my update with my mini cut. I will be updating you weekly if I'm changing something, how everything's going and and all that sort of jazz. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. <laughs>